Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add an auto gate to an airport that doesn't have an auto gate. And in fact, I'm going to show you how to add an auto gate to one of the uh, default air airports in X-Plane 11. Uh, not necessarily a custom airport, but you can actually make a custom airport out of any of the uh, default airports. And so I'm going to show you how to, um, first of all, create the files needed to add an auto gate, because if the uh, it isn't a payware or a custom airport that you put into custom scenery, then you need to, first of all, create the files for the airport. And in order to do that, you use World Editor, which is freely available from the X-Plane forum to download. In fact, I don't—I think it may even have come with X-Plane 11, but whatever, it's, it's free. And if it's not with your uh, installation files, then it's uh, available at the X-Plane forum. So the first thing you need to do is to create a new scenery package. And so just push the new button and then Type in the code that you want for the airport that you're going to create. Now, in this case, we're going to create AutoGate for Ottawa. At least I'm going to show you how to create the airport files for Ottawa because I've already created a previous tutorial on how to add an AutoGate to uh, another airport, uh, but it wasn't created from scratch. So I think a number of people have uh, wanted to know, well, if the airport isn't already in your custom scenery, how do you <clears throat> how do you add it there? So we're just going to type in uh, CYOW, which is for Ottawa, if I can spell it correctly there. And then you open the scenery package and you can see that it's just blank here currently. You go to the file menu and you go to import from airport scenery gateway. Now this is a, a, a worldwide database of airports all over the world that are being updated by airport developers. And so you can just type in CYOW and up comes the name of the Ottawa McDonald Cartier International Airport. And then you just, now there's different versions of it here. You can see how the airport developers from all around the world contribute to these files. And so you have your options of which one you want to download. So normally just pick the one that says recommended up here and then import the package like that. And that'll create the uh, airport files that you need in your custom scenery folder so that you can add AutoGate to it. So uh, what you want to do is first of all, just save that as a, it, now it saves it to an XML file uh, so that it allows you to uh, open your, this airport again using World Editor. If you don't save it, then you can't open your the file again uh, using World Editor. You have to import data files and etc. So it's always best idea just to save it as an XML file. And that XML file will be found right in the scenery file for the auto airport. And then it's a very simple process. All you do is go um, export scenery pack and that's it you've created your airport file and uh, now what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually dub in another tutorial that i did on how to add an auto gate to an airport and all you do is open uh, the overlay editor at this point and the overlay editor is here and all you do is open that scenery package, which you just finished creating. And then uh, I'll dub in the uh, t uh, tutorial I did on how to add an auto gate. Now I actually added an auto gate 
on the JFAK airport, not on the Ottawa, but it, it's the same thing. Whatever airport you create, it's the same process. And you can create an auto gate uh, in about five minutes. Now, if you're it's your first time, it may take you a little, a little longer. But uh, all you do on the overlay editor here is an open the scenery package. And we look at that uh, Ottawa file that we just created here. And that's how you open your airport file. And now I'm going to dub in the tutorial that I already created on how to add a auto gate. And the tutorial is actually based on the JFK airport, but it's the same thing. You can add an auto gate to Ottawa or any airport that you create. So the question is, how do you install an auto gate uh, without using WED, which is World Editor? Because you'll find even in payware airports, uh, there's mistakes in them. And when you try and uh, change the coordinates of the gates and go to save it into uh, the DAT file, you'll get error messages and won't allow you to save it. So this is a three-step, very simple process, how to install an auto gate uh, at an airport that doesn't have auto gates. So the first step is to load the aircraft in X-Plane and take note of where it is positioned at the gate you want to create. So here we are at uh, JFK and we have loaded uh, B-39. You can see the numbers 39 behind there, but this is at Terminal B. So pay close attention to where the front wheel is of the plane. And you'll notice it's all the way, uh, it's not parked properly, but that's where the plane will load every time that you connect to X-Plane 11. So uh, you can change the coordinates using World Editor, but like I said previously, there's errors in the airport. <laughs> And rather than spending hours and hours fixing somebody else's mistake, it's easier just to use the overlay editor and to fix the gate to where it actually is currently. So pay attention to the wheels. You can see it's beyond these T marks here. And it's just past this line and the pave and the uh, concrete here and just a little bit to the uh, left of the line. So that's the first step. The second step is to load the overlay editor. And once we have that loaded, I'll come back and uh, we'll show you how to use the overlay editor to add the auto gate. Okay, the second step in setting up an auto gate for an airport that doesn't have one is you need to download the AutoGate kit. Now this is different than the AutoGate plugin, but it's also a free download. So just download the AutoGate kit and you'll see that there's a number of folders in the AutoGate kit, including a Marshall. These are um, electronic docking mechanisms to guide the pilot so that they know when they're at the right spot. There's also a, a helper folder here, which uh, was for uh, this is used particularly for the marshal, or I'll show you how to use that a little later. And then also the auto gates, the jet base, the glass, as well as the static ones. So uh, what you do is you copy the folders that you want into your uh, airport folder. And in this case, we're going to be putting in an auto gate in the JFK airport. So you see I've copied in the Marshaller folder here, and I've also copied in the Jetways Steel folder, and I've copied in the Helpers folder, and that's the only only thing that uh, the ones we're going to use. We're not going to be putting in the glass Jetways or the electronic ones. We're going to use a, a, a Marshaller to guide the plane into the correct docking position. So once you've copied those into the airport folder, open the overlay editor. It's freely available from the uh, X-Plane for, uh, forum. And you want to find the gate that you want to put in. So uh, when you open it, you'll see the airport uh, looks like this in the overlay editor. And all you do is zoom into the gate that you want to edit. In this case, it was gate the B39. So 
pay close attention initially when you have the aircraft loaded so that you can easily find the gate when you open the overlay editor and a large airport it's sometimes difficult to find the gates if they're not properly uh, labeled so here we are at gate 39 and this scenario looks familiar according to how we loaded the initial aircraft and as you notice we uh, noted that the wheels of that aircraft were just about here so what we want to do is we want to install an auto gate now that will match up to that exact location so the way you do that is uh, let's get rid of first of all what already exists there this useless static gate all right and then up here what you would type is just the uh, jetways and then you can see a list of all of the auto gates come up here and when you click on one of them a picture of it shows up down here and so you just kind of eyeball you know what kind of gate we want and how long and it looks like it's quite a ways over to here so we're going to try out initially an, an 18 footer an 18 meter here and we'll add that and then you use the uh, keys to move it around and see if it's going to be the right length and that's a little short so we're going to delete that bring out another one we'll try the 23 meter one here and we'll add that and again you use the a the asd qwe keys to uh, move your um, object around and that looks uh, like it's going to be fairly close so then what you do is push shift c and that tells you where the x the wheel should be located for the plane and you can see it's uh, still a little bit off so we'll just shift that a little bit that way shift c a little bit more and then a little bit the other way all right so that's pretty well ex where the wheel was on the original aircraft that we have loaded so now we've got our gate in place so now we just have to tidy up the other end of it and we just look at what we need to connect over here and so we'll get rid of this uh, little turn style here and we'll just put in a connection here again type up here jetways and we'll see here that there's connecting pieces down here we've got five meter 10 meter and 15 meter so we'll try a 10 meter just to see how that fits and it might be a little long and maybe the five will do but it doesn't matter if it goes into that a little bit and then you can rotate it as well just kind of move it around a little bit and I think we've got a connection there so let's just rotate around just to the view a bit just to make sure so you can uh, use the home key the page up at the end and the page down key to rotate and you can see we've got a bit of a gap there still uh, so we have to we have to adjust just a little bit and we'll rotate it a bit more bring it this way a bit and a little bit farther this way 
All right, so that that I think uh, is looking a little better there now. All right, good. And that's all there is. Uh, we've got just a little bit. Whoop. So putting that connection piece in requires a little bit of fiddling, but I think we finally got it. And then all you have to do is push the save. And the next time that you load your plane to gate 39, you'll have an auto gate in place. So that's all there is to installing a, an auto gate. It only takes a few minutes. So there's uh, just one additional step that you have to do to complete your auto gate, and that is to set up the marshaller to guide your plane in. So uh, select the auto gate and then push uh, shift C. Again, that'll line up the uh, the X on the spot there. And then uh, put in the marshaller. So in this case, now you'll find that um, you may actually want to change this gate a little bit because you notice you're on a bit of an angle and you would like the X. You can see here that actually the X here, it's going to be at a bit of, so your plane is going to come in on a bit of an angle. So what you do to fix that is you you need to um, rotate rotate this so that you get more of a, a direct line. All right, so a little bit too far, shift C. All right, so that's that's coming in pretty straight there now. So then you would need to adjust your uh, connection back here. And since we've changed the angle a bit, let's move it to uh, a shorter shorter one. So what you want to do is uh, select the shorter connection piece here, and then add it using the plus button here and then just move it over into position here rotate it a little bit bring it back out again rotate it a bit more and a bit more And I think we've got ourselves a finished gate. Just rotate around just to make sure everything looks good. It's a little bit out there. And that looks fine. And that's how you end up with a gate. And we need to uh, put the marshaller in, which is what we started to do before we realized that the alignment needed to be fixed a little bit. So click on the uh, auto gate here, push shift C, and that'll tell you wh where your gate is going to be aligned up. And it's of an exact position where that wheel was on that original aircraft. So now we need to install a, a marshaller. There's a little helper that helps you where to position the marshaller and so if that was that help folder we put in earlier if you type in help up here you'll see a helper's green zone here and so we'll add that and that'll if you've put the shift c on the auto gate then the green zone will come directly onto that square under the uh, cross and that that tells you that you need to locate your marshaller just outside that green zone. Then to find the marshaller, type in, I think it's DGS. There you go. You add your marshaller and then just move him into position a little bit outside of the green zone. 
but far enough away that you can see them from the plane. And that should be it. So we'll push the save button and there you have an auto gate that you've added to your airport in about five to ten minutes and it makes all the difference in flying. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any comments or any help needed. So once you load your auto gate you want to check it out and to see if there's any adjustments needed and you can see that you can see the marshaller now in front of you on the plane and if you look on the from the outside you'll see that uh, the auto gate works perfectly and if you release the parking brake you see the auto gate moving back now it's not connected perfectly here so you might want to go back in and tweak that a little bit just to rotate that a bit farther but that's basically it you've got a working auto gate in a little over five minutes installing on the airport and that aligns it uh, with the auto gate without having to use world editor now ideally you would want to tweak it in world editor and actually align the plane along this line better at, at the stopping points with the um, with the auto gate but then you need to adjust the reference points in world editor and like i said in a lot of these airports there's mistakes in the airports and you have to fix somebody else's mistakes <laughs> in order to save the file and uh, so the easiest way is just to use the overlay editor and align it with the existing location that the plane is put in when it is loaded and uh, it's very simple doesn't take a lot of time and but it increases the enjoyment of uh, doing a proper startup and shutdown arriving at a, a gate that works uh, let me know if you have any questions or if i can be of any help